When you walk through the White House, do you get a sense that it truly belongs to you? Yeah. No, I do. Um, now, I've been in the White House a number of times. Um, off, you know, way back, a uh, number of years back, the, the head of the uh, Secret Service there was a, a fan and uh, came to a show and, uh, and invited us for a tour. And that was, I guess, my first time in the White House. Um, but when I get there, you know, it's an office building. It's my office building, though, you know. But I, now, these days, when I go to D.C., I go to the White House and I do business. Uh, you know, oftentimes it has to do with uh, the business that we have to do is the business of getting, uh, we, we talk to their, the White House staff about how we can get uh, how their ideas about what we can do, for instance, in, a, in, a, in an off election cycle year yeah. to keep people involved that won't be political. Um, but if, you know, if there's something that they can offer us uh, that we can use to keep people engaged, um, they're more than happy to do it. And, you know, so, yeah, I, I go to the, to the White House, uh, and like I say, I, I feel like I belong there. Uh, you know, I think we all belong there. You know, if, if we've got, if we got a, a reason to be there, even if it's just to see the place, but I've seen the place. Now when I go there, it's to, uh, to get something done. Yeah. What are the issues that are most important to you personally right now? You mentioned having kids. You obviously have, you know, a family as well as a band. What are the things that, having been successful to your mind in instituting change last November, what are the issues that are most pressing to you? First and foremost, I would love to get money out of politics. Um, money doesn't talk, it swears. You know, A great politician once said that. <laughs> right. Um, it's, it doesn't speak for people, it speaks for wealthy people. And, you know, I think 30-some years of uh, this notion that uh, money will trickle down, or trickle down economics, I think it's, it should be apparent to everyone that that's a bogus theory. The rains aren't coming. Um, and uh, I would like to get money out of politics. Uh, it doesn't serve anyone. It doesn't even serve the people who, they, who think they're being served by it. What I think people will find is if, uh, if, if society in general is doing well, money will, will trickle up. I think the people who, who uh, are getting all the money these days will, will remain wealthy. I don't think they're going to hurt at all by, uh, by paying more taxes. I don't think they're going to get hurt at all by paying more taxes, shouldering uh, uh, a little more of the burden of, uh, of you know, of financing society, uh, I think it'll come back to them um, abundantly. You know, I'm a wealthy guy. I don't mind paying taxes. In fact, I believe in it. Um, I just, you know, I believe in also having the right people in the government so that they know, so that they can decide what to do with the money that they take from me. Um, and I work to get the right people in the government. But. Uh, Number one, let's get the money out of politics. Let's let people speak for people rather than money speaking for interests.